Yeah, what's good everybody? Hope you're doing well. So this is a series where we lab certain characters where we see what strings are duckable, punishables, you know, you can sidestep or anything like that. Today we have Zafina. Uh, I played a lot of Zafina in uh, Tekken 7. I ain't touched her in Tekken 8. So if uh, there's stuff similar to Tekken 7, um, I should be able to help. Tekken 8, I want to be learning myself. So let's get into it. So this is a new, this is like a, in a Tekken 7, a fold one plus two was a bit different. Uh, but this is a mid mid, jailing, safe. Very linear, but it's safe and it puts her in. Well, at least it's a safe mid and it's safe. It's safe, so like, it's, it's a good way to get into the heat engager. Okay, so yeah, this is still punishable. It's not, it's natural. You can sidestep it right. Okay. Good to know. She's still linear in some areas. If you see this, she can cancel it. So you gotta be careful, but if they're going for this, you can sidestep that right. This move, man. This move's stupid. You can't interrupt it. You can't interrupt it and you can't step it. I mean, she's minus, but look at the pushback. Look at the pushback. Wow, that's a good move. You'd have to parry that, I imagine. You'd have to parry that, but I can't parry that because I have a parry. Uh, can you rage out in between it? No. Can't even rage out, man. That move is very good. From stance as well. Oh, uh, yeah, you can walk this. But it's safe. Oh, actually, it's quite good to the right. Quite good to the right. You want to go left normally against Athena in in neutral, but some of the stuff can be stepped to the right. Well, she's got a lot of these safe moves, man. But she's linear. They're all safe, but they seem to be all linear, which is sort of works. She has two heat smashes. How fast is that? 12. So she's got 12. It's a high. And she's plus three. She's plus three, but look at the pushback. Not really great. But it's a high. <coughs> so if you have a read on that, they're going to use the heat smash. It's a high. And I'm hit. Just 51 damage. And she has one from stance, which is all low. You can just mash your free button here. You can just mash your free button from now. It all jails. And if you get hit, she gets a guaranteed like back free. She doesn't get a combo. She doesn't get a combo for it. But it only comes from the uh, scarecrow stance. Uh, standard one two minus three jailing. She has one two three. Last hits are high. Puts her in stance at zero. Uh, but she, she could use the uh, she use the scarecrow jab there probably. You know the two jabs that I just said safe from stance is probably what the option would be there. But if you see one two just stuck, uh, there's no mix unless there is a new mix. But this it wasn't a mix. Let me just check. No, there's no mix. It's always a high after one two. Uh, this this jails. Uh, this jails and puts her in stance. Now, something you know, when we get through all the stance moves, um, if it's still the same, I'll check. Uh, when she does this move, you're technically in a mix-up, even though she's minus, because she's got like a power crush and a low uh, from it. That'll beat you like jabs and stuff. Uh, but down four uh, beats absolutely everything. If, oh, like, it, it, it used to, I, I assume it still does. Uh, obviously, she can cancel the stance, one free cancel and low parry. But if you don't want to eat a mix-up, uh, you can just down four. If she's in stance, because she can't low parry or block low. 
And she has this. Uh, this used to pick up, but I don't know if it will anymore. Yeah, there's not much you can do there. It's safe. You could probably do that. Um, I think I've got counter hit on. Yeah, I don't think it'll screw. I think it'll only screw if uh, if she does a uh, move because she's minus. Yeah, it'll just hit. She got a uh, two one three. Last it's a low. Um, launch punishable, but yeah, as you can see, our last thing is a bit 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 odd. It's the same with some other laws against other characters, so you have to hot kick in a situation. Uh, she can cancel it. I actually don't know how minus it is on cancel, because otherwise you could just option select. She can cancel it into stance. So, so always hot kick here, right? Let me just check. No, so, okay, okay. So, you're guessing, really, because the hop kick, for some, some reason, gets beat by the low, which is stupid. But if you block that low, it's launch punishable. But, again, we have to hop kick. But that's not a punish, if you don't. You have to hop kick there. So, this is, uh, you have, you, uh, I cannot jab anymore. Oh yeah, you can not you can jab into up there. Or you can side water left. It's safe though. But you can side water left. Same as second seven. So yeah, standing free. Uh this is neutral. Again, probably a setup uh, to catch people jabbing. Um is usually what this is used for. Again, you could probably do down four um, against most most of the options. So she has this full string, uh, which is minus, minus 11. Oh my god. Um, you can jab. This is always a punish. This is always minus 10, and you have a 10 frame interrupt window. And if she does uh, just the first hit, Uh, that's punishable as well. But be careful, because if you try punish, you can get hit by the second hit. Like, like so. Yeah, if you try punish, you'll get counter hit lord. It used to be a hop kick through this. It used to be a step that last hit as well. Change then, probably a buff as Athena. So she got Scarecrow stance, this is how you manually go into it. 3 plus 4. So she got this move. <coughs> Launch punishable. Um, but the second hit's a high. You always want to duck the second hit. And if she does just the first two hits. Wait. Why did it not come out then? Oh my god, my bad. You can... You can hot kick a lot of the options. Um, she is neutral. Um, and I've noticed um, sometimes... I don't know why, but if she does the, the jab or the... Uh, obviously the low, but uh, it's the hot kick sometimes just goes through it. Um, I don't know if it's because of the way it pushes back a little bit. I don't know. Um, but you always want to duck the second hit. But it does leave her in stance, the second hit. Uh, but obviously, always be careful of the third hit. But hot kick's not a bad option. You've got forward three, which is uh, plus, leaves her in stance. Just, it's, it's a high. Uh, but again, it's just going to... You're not going to react to it. It's just one of those, if you think... you got to be careful with that. We'll get to her stand stuff as well. This is a knock, knock down, yeah. It's a high. It's just a check move, really. Hold on plus two, we've been through. It's a new move. 
Now oh, forward one, two, one. You need to be careful punishing this because if they're delayed, the last hit, I think. It, well, it, it was the case in Tekken 7. I've really played many Zafinas, so let's have a look. I feel like if the, it used to be if they delayed the last hit. Yeah, 4 2 2 can whiff if they delay the last hit. So, 2 1s you punish against this. So yeah, 2 1s you punish against this. Uh, if they do just do the. Um, if they just do the first two hits and you have a read on it. Uh, it's minus 13. But there's always that chance of getting hit by the third hit. So be careful with that. Now forward one force is uh, mainly used at the wall. Uh, mid high, a uh, wall splat. And it's a 13 frame punish as well. Uh, it's like it's a high, mainly used at the wall. Uh, down forward two is a launcher, minus 12. Uh, it has a bit of a high cushion on it. Let's see. Yeah. Uh, it's a slight high cushion, depends on the scenario, but minus 12. Uh, this is a 14 frame, uh, or 15 frame, sorry, punish. 15? This used to be 14. Didn't know it changed. Natural. Mid high. Duckable low. This used to be 14, so I just got a nerf. Uh, she has a low from it. Minus 14. You want a low parry? You want to always just buffer a low parry because you'll duck the high and then you'll low parry the low. But if you accidentally block it, it's 14. Alright, again, we've, we looked at this. Side step left. I mean, side step right or 12 frame punish. 4 2 2. Just smash your forward 2 2. Like, it, it comes out very delayed, like the block stun's quite hard, but you just keep just keep mashing forward 2 2 and you've blocked it. She has this option as well. Which is minus 13. Forward 2 2 whiffs. So a 2 1 there. Oh, 2 1 whiffs. What the? The so down forward 4. Down forward 4 is punish there, but. Can't set that one. Yeah, so uh, if, you, if you, you need a down forward 4 there. Wow, well, that changed. She used to be at a 4 2 2, that, for sure. Probably can at the wall, but in the open, you got a down forward 4, that. Oh, this is a launcher. Very slow. It's homing. Can't step it. But it's just, it's safe. It's just a launcher. It's like a mix up to a snake edge, but that will get to. It's similar animations, but you'll be, you can tell the difference. Uh, so this is a count. This is natural on count it. Uh, it's not without uh, minus twelve. And the first hit, if you uh, used to be minus like seventeen. So let's have a look. Let's see what it is now. Sixteen minus sixteen. Uh, so if you get a read, it's launch. But be careful because the second it can count hit launch. Yeah, you just gotta be careful with that. This is minus 13. And if you press there, you get launched. Even if you press after the second hit. But it's minus 13. And if she does the. Uh, let me just remember the input, is it? This used to be launch. Still launch, but you've always got to be careful of that third hit. Down three is one of the main go to low. She can go into stance or she can't or she like um, don't have to. Sorry, uh, wait, it's minus. Uh, it's minus. It's my. You see how it says minus fifteen? It's not. It is, but it's not. It's only minus fifteen if she doesn't go into stance. If she holds, wait, it's not on the movers, is it? Is, I'll just show you, just so you're not confused why that says minus 15. 
because if she goes into stance, I believe, is it, oh, I believe, yeah, minus 30 if she goes into stance, so while selling 1-1s one or 1-2 one is always your punish here, I, I wouldn't risk going for the, uh, for the launch, because most of the time they all go into stance, because why not, it's safer and you get a mix up. Uh, this isn't natural, but if you don't hold back, it is. Um, you have to hold back. Um, but you can end up the second hit. It's a counter hit launcher. But it's not natural. You have to be holding back, though. If you don't hold back, this is what happens. Uh, down one pursuit goes into a tarantula stance. We used to be at a back one out of that, but since back one's property has changed, um, we're going to have a look at that. Uh, Mantis stance. Down back two. <coughs> 13 frame mid check. She can't hit knocked down. She has a guaranteed follow up. It's just a standard move. Down back three is plus three. Um, and it's it says minus eight, but I believe it's minus 11. I think you can get 11 frames. Hold on, let me try it. What can she do? Because she doesn't have to go into stance, so what is it? Yeah, 11. So just 11 frame it every time. Yeah, she doesn't have to go into stance. You can hold down back to cancel the stun. Uh, this is not natural. Um, it's counter hit natural. Um, if you don't hold back, it's natural. But if you hold back, minus 30. Can't interrupt it. So, be careful if you block the first hit and watch out for the second hit. Uh, this is a uh, launch punishable now. It didn't used to be. Uh, there's two hits to the stake edge. Uh, you used to want to be able to get 14 frames in between, but you can launch now. It is a launcher. But it's very slow. You can react to that. Back one, this used to be uh, like a... Well, so I say use probably still. is like a, a good whiff punisher and a combo ender. Uh, but minus 14. And on hit. It's plus two, but she gets... Does it show you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is what it looks like on, actually on hit. This is what she gets. But yeah, minus 14. High minus five. What did that give? Plus twelve, so she'll probably get like one three or something like that. Uh, minus fourteen. Oh. This used to be safe. Crazy. Is it on hit? Is it not down? Yeah, not down. Oh, minus fourteen power crush now. So you can punish that. Yeah, it's still really linear. Uh, let's roll those moves to catch you pressing. You can't move. If you block the first hit, you can't move, but you can press. Yeah. But minus 14. That would be a tricky move to get used to the animation, I think. Unblockable. Uh, this is the one that they'll use at the wall. They'll do this move into down forward 1-4 because it's a frame trap. So if you press, like, especially in this situation, if you press now, they'll do that into... Oh, I'll just show you it. Why not? This is one of the most common Zafina setups for, for the wall spot because you don't want to press. So watch out for this. I don't matter if I'm at wall or not. You, you can't press, but you can be ready for that. Be ready for that. It's a very common Zafina set up at the wall. Safe. Linear. Can't hit knock down. Normal hit knock down? Yeah, normal hit knock down. She'll get like she'll get the power crush there, the back three. She has a hop kick, it's 17 frames. So it's slow for a hop kick. But it's punishable. Forward forward two used to be plus one or something. Yeah, still plus one. It is a high. If you have a read on it, it's plus one. 
They'll probably do like two of these or they'll do it into jabs or something like that so you can't beat them out. This used to be launch. Still launch. It's not natural. This catches people not holding back at the wall. Like if you don't hold back, this is what happens the second it'll hit you. But it's launch punishable. Forward, forward, forward is a home in mid kick. Uh, you can't step it, it's quick. It's just a good, it's a good mid. It's a good solid mid to be honest. It's got a forward, forward motion as well, so it's a good mid. Uh, this can go into stance. Uh, you, you down chap punish this. I assume it's still... Let me just check. Wait, did I just fuck that up? I assume it's still unsafe going into stance. Yeah, you need to down jab punishes, but you might not always get it, but down jab is the punish for it. Uh, I do down back one into forward. So that you recover in standing. Yeah, if you press forward while you've done a down back one, uh, you recover standing so you can do a move from standing instead of... Um, or else, yeah, so running... Uh, Free is into stance is one of the new moves. Like it used to just be running free. Um, can I? I need to just check something here. How fast is? So this is a frame trap. Okay. Let me just check this because this is something I want to know myself. Because this is what every Zafina is doing at the moment. So it's a trade. And I can't step it. Wow. I'm power crush it. But look at that. No interrupt either. Maybe a down jump? Nope, still loses. And it, look at the tracking on it. Better go right there. She's plus six there, but it's one of those, isn't it? Uh, running one plus two. Laser plus seven. It's a high. Look at that, man. The while standing two is awful. Not really seeing this used. I mean, if you duck it, you want to probably up forward three plus four. Maybe back three. Probably on a back three. The back three or four three plus four if you duck that. Okay. Ten hit. It's like it's a high. So it's only the end bit really that you have to worry about. That bit there. Which is launch punishable. But you can just duck the second or third hit. Just took the second or third hit. It's, it's the same for both, don't worry about them. So she has while standing 1-2, this is a 15 frame launcher. Uh, you can always 10 frame punish while standing 1. So you can always interrupt it, but if you don't, yeah, you 12 frame that. But you should always punish this, always interrupt it, because they like to fish for while standing 1. Um, but they can't do it. Be careful because they can't do while sending one. If you're a bit late, they can duck and do a while sending one two again. But you can duck that. While sending two is minus 14, but she can go uh, back. Uh, I'll probably have to show you that. So, look. It whiffs. But you can dash up and hop kick. If you have a read on that. You got a lot of time. I'd probably hop kick. Hop kick seems safer. Hop kick or down at one plus two. Yeah, I'd probably hop kick. If you if you have a read on that. While standing free, uh puts her in stance uh, at zero. Again, I'll probably down four check this. So you don't die for it. 
Well, standard whilst they fall. Be careful with this because. That's what they'll do. Sometimes the pushback is a bit much. And your jabs will whiff, and then they'll do something about, about it. So you got a full crouch law. Launch punishable. Uh, knocks down, gives a guaranteed back three. You should sidestep one plus two. Uh, this is a counter hit launcher. I, just, I can't remember the follow up. She has a follow up, but it's a counter hit launcher. It is a counter hit launcher. She has a follow up. Okay, so from Scarecrow stance, she has this. Uh, this is safe, but I think if they do something. Oh, yeah. Wait, record. what's the fastest move from? 18, 14. Okay, so let's do that. Um. If they do this from this stance, I feel down back one plus two should counter hit launch. If you block this, yeah. I down back one plus two. This stance is what I do. The tarantula stance is I definitely just down back one plus two. Is what I found at the moment. If all beats it, we'll see. Oh, we looked at this move. You can't do all about this move. I think you probably could parry the second hit, but we don't have a parry, so. Uh, this move, you can use to slice it right. But you need to be careful with this because of the other move. Uh, but it's minus 10. But the pushback can sometimes be too much. Well, it seems to be alright at the moment. But I've, yeah, there you go. But you can step it right. Uh, this is mid high. Uh, knocks, it knocks down, natural, mid high, and it is zero on block, so you could probably down four there, maybe, I don't know. This is launch punishable, this is what they'll use to uh, beat your jabs, uh, uh, but it's launch punishable. Plus six, it's used to counter hit launch. Done anymore, which is nice. Uh, three plus four, minus twelve. Linear. Uh, you want to move left against Athena, I reckon, more often than not. This is like a screw move that she has. Quite linear. They won't really use this. I don't think. I know it's safe. But they don't really use that move from stance. I'm sure it's like just one of the eight moves it makes it minus. Yeah, they don't really use that. Not too much. Uh, she, she has a snake edge. Uh, it's natural, but launch punishable. Uh, it's a launcher. You gotta be careful with that one. She has this, which so could put her in stance. Minus 14. So that should punish for that. Uh, it's very plus. Uh, don't press after this, because she got loads of counter hit setups. And she goes into Mantis stance. Don't press after this. Whatever you do, just just hold the mix up. So, low high. Duck and launch. Careful, careful punishing there. You'd have to stay ducking for that. Uh, launch punishable, low, knockdown. But yeah, launch punishable. Just cancel the stance, yeah, whatever. Minus 17. She's plus on hit with this now. This used to be minus on hit. Good tracking. Yeah. But launch punishable. See how she ends. So from Tarantula stance, she has the low, which leaves her at plus five, which means this into the three is a frame trap uh, on block. Uh, 
I'd probably up forward 3 plus 4. Because if the stay in stance. They don't have to, but if they stay in stance like that, I think I think that'll uh, that'll work. I don't know if that'll get out of that. Safe mid launcher. Or linear. So she has that again. I challenge that with uh, she can go into stance, but you can you can I think she's minus thirteen if she does that into stance. I don't know. I don't even. Hold on. I don't even know how you're going. To, she used to be able to go into stance. Am I? Am I wrong? I can't remember how to do it. Maybe she can't go into stance anymore. Uh, maybe she can't. She used to be going back into Mantis stands. Don't know why she can. So I'd down back 1 plus 2 that. I, I would down back 1 plus 2 that then. If she can't go into stance anymore, which unless I'm just... Let me know in the comments if there's a way to do it, but I can't figure it out. I'd just down back 1 plus 2 that. Because if she presses again... If she presses again there, she, she's just going to get counter hit launched. Because she's minus, she's minus seven. Um, so, she doesn't have a 10 frame move. So she'll get counter hit launched. Uh, yeah, she can do that from Sans. That's the same as the standing version. Uh, this leaves you crouch. So you're whilst in 1-1 one, one, or whilst in 1-2 of this. Either works. Right, heat engager, chunky mid. Safe as well. So, it is what it is. Okay. Yeah, she got a low. I don't know if Boston 2 works here. Oh, it does, it does. Launch punishable. Oh, Mantis stuns. I'll show you something as well after we Mantis stuns. So she can do 1-3, which is the same as 1-3 in general, really, pretty much. She can down for that. She has uh, this, which is minus 13. You need to down forward 4, because I think shoulder whiffs. Alright, hit there. I've had it whiff, though. But, yeah, you can shoulder, apparently. Um, but if she does the first hit, which is the... Uh, more common thing to do. He's just doing the first hit. A lot of Zephyrus just do the first hit. Uh, it's minus 14. You can do this. Or this. Um, but if you, if you press, it's kind of a launcher. So be careful of that. But it's minus 14. Uh, this is a safe low mid. Uh, it's a count eight launcher. Uh, you need to block both hits. You can't punish. You want, you want to low parry that if possible. Uh, she can block low um, from this stun. So all she's do is hold down back, and she recovers blocking low. Uh, so you probably want to. You can do a low, but I normally mid check. Just like I definitely don't do a high, don't do a high because she'll just rinse and repeat this and it'll just count at your high. She got that launch punishable. You have to dash. You got time though, minus 30, you got plenty of time. Oh man, maybe even more so. Yeah, plenty of time. Uh, it's not natural, but it probably is if you don't hold back. Yeah. Counter hit though. Counter hit natural. She has a power crush. Uh, minus 12. Should stop people pressing in the stands, really. It's, oh, it's just, that's normally, they normally use that when you've like gone over them or something, they're in stands just to turn around. Oh, it's just again, we've been through that. And then you hit. 
Let's Brexit plus. Uh, safe launcher. Linear. Back 4 2 seems to be the punish on that. You won't see that often though. Yeah, just back 4 2 that like, if you see it. Oh, it's linear, you can sidestep it. Uh, minus 5, she goes into that to tarantula stand, so. Down back 1 plus 2 against that, so they don't press out. Launch punishable. Not natural. Can't hit natural. But again, okay, just launch. Slide plus laser plus four. Very launch punishable. A lot of launch punishable stuff, really, to be honest. That's just the crush laws. If you're challenging them a low, safe as well, unfortunately. Oh, okay, we don't need to go over throws. She has a 1 plus 2 throw. She only has a 1 plus 2 in generic throws. Uh, it looks like this. She has a bit of Oki from it. She can do certain stuff. So it's a 1 plus 2 break. Uh, she has a parry. Now, let me just show you a common setup that people use. Um, so, with this. Um, this and... Uh, this and right so these are the common things you'll see after down three and um, so we'll go over the law first you can sidestep block uh, but you'll you'll eat the lot the first law and um, but if you want obviously you can trade with while 74 or you can down jab and um, to beat that but obviously you want to, if you have a read on the low, you want a low parry. Um, and then she's, the two mids, uh, this is so you don't press. Uh, but you can sidestep left launch. Uh, it'll whiff. And this is a count hit launch if you press. Again, with a mid. Oh, that's it. You definitely can sidestep this, I've done it. For some reason I'm getting hit. Maybe Claudio car? I don't know, I think I was playing Dragon at the time. You can't even sidestep block. Yeah, so sidestep block is what you want to do against... For some reason, I'm, it's not letting me set this. I definitely stepped it in game. I think I've got some gameplay from now against Athena as well. But I definitely stuck block this, but for some reason I can't... I can't consistently do it at the moment. I'm getting hit. But you can step block everything. Um, and if she does the 1-3, you can think... But this is minus 14 anyway. If you have a read on it. Um, but you should size up left block. But for some reason I'm getting hit. Yeah, there you go. You can size up left block everything. You'll eat the first low. You'll eat the first low on the thing. But you'll block the second hit. And if she does like 1-3 and stuff. The quick options. Um, they'll whiff. Um, but yeah, that's what I do against the stance from down 3. Size up left block. Um, or low parry. There's not much else you should be doing. If you're just blocking your block that. You should punish it. But yeah. Uh, that's Athena. I hope you learned something. Uh, thanks for watching and take care.